All right, Resident Evil Archives. Uh, figured I'd go through this book while I got some pizza being made and, uh, you know, I thought about kind of bookmarking some pages and just going like that, but after running through those video game magazines, I figured I'll just go through each page and kind of point out anything specific. It's a pretty thick book, so it may take a little while, but I'm not going to like stay too far, too, too long on uh, many pages, but uh, I think, where did I pick this up? I picked this up at the bookstore close to whenever it was released. I don't think it was like right around the time, but I happened to notice it, kind of was digging it, and I bought it, and uh, yeah, uh, what, $30 it says on there. I don't know if I had an actual sticker or if it just went for the 30, but I picked it up right away. Does it have a date on it? 2005. Um, or at least that's, I don't know when this edition was actually released. Let me see if it has a, uh, well, here we go. 2006, so yeah, so around, so I'm assuming I probably got this maybe, hmm, 2006, 2007 maybe, somewhere around there. Anyway, picked it up randomly, or or saw it randomly, picked it up because I love Resident Evil obviously, and uh, went for it. So, here we go. We're loaded down, we got plenty of things to look at, I'm probably just going to look at pictures of hunters and stuff so you got resident evil zero resident evil remake resident evil 2 resident evil 3 code veronica and i've never made it that far into these graphs because <laughs> i eh, i guess i do i don't know i kind of get lost once i'm following all the arrows and everything Resident Evil Zero, of course, I've talked about it many times. Great game. The older it got for me, at least. I really enjoyed it more and more. The characters and everything. Resident Evil Remake. Same with that one. When it first came out, I was not digging it at all. Fran brought over his copy on the GameCube, and I was just not into it. It's all... All looking good with good graphics and everything. This wasn't my 96 Resident Evil. But as time went on, of course, I really, really enjoyed how they updated it. And uh, it's up there for me now. Resident Evil 2, of course, the original. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Literally, uh, just do not care about it. Well, I say that, but... As time went on, I guess I, I've i played it enough that I've enjoyed it pretty well. But, I don't know. There was something, for some reason, whenever I was younger, Resident Evil 2 just did not stand out to me like Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 3 uh, eventually did. Because, I think I played 3 a lot more back then after the original 3 were kind of all out but as time went on i think i kind of switched it around i played a lot of two uh now resident evil 2 remake i definitely love so here's resident evil 3 nemesis that freaking nemesis rocks man that's what i wanted to see in the remake so i was kind of bummed out about the transformations in that but it's still cool i like what they did anyway but the original I don't know what it was. I think it was because it was short. That might be why I didn't like Resident Evil 2 all that much. Because there was the two disc. And I'm impatient. And I don't like playing for a long time. Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 1. I was kind of in and out more or less. Once I learned my way around. Same with Code Veronica. It went on for a while with me. I think I've only completed the game maybe twice. I don't even know if I've even played through it completely. A second time I've made it pretty far 
a few times, but kind of just lost my interest in it. Love the game. Definitely fun. I just, I'm not a very patient and pay attention game player, so I kind of will play for a few hours, put it away, and never touch it again. Like on my PlayStation 4, one of our bought Code Veronica probably last year or something. Played it for a few hours and then it just got put to the side. But it's a great game. I like the whole Chris and Wesker thing. Alexi is cool. So here we go. Characters. Chris Redfield. And uh... I'm not really going to zoom in on anything specific, I guess. Maybe on a few pages, but I'm going to try to keep it moving right along as we just look at the pages here. Barry Burton, Rebecca, Albert Wesker, Claire Redfield. It would really, uh, it'd be pretty cool if they updated these books as well. I, they really need to make a third volume with all the newer stuff, you know. Here's a original hips, Hip Leon there, ready to go to work. And then getting drunk and missing it. Steve, Billy Cohen, Birkin, 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 Marcus. That always bugged me that official guides never had pictures. <laughs> I hate photo not available stuff in something like this now that i they could eventually i guess update that and they would have a picture of him now but here's all the ashfords marini sullivan aiken spay or dewey frost vickers bertoluke irons honk kendo genevieve Victor, Patrick, Seeker, John, no John, Dooley, Marvin, Michael, Warren, the mayor's daughter, ah, here we go, creatures, that's what I'm talking about, look at all these different zombies, crazy different zombies, Crimson Heads. I also didn't like that. I know it was like an original concept or whatever for the original game. They couldn't put it in there and stuff. But those jerks get me every time. And the Eliminators, don't really care for them. I don't like dogs, but the zombie dogs rock. And bats, decent. Chimeras, always like them. Chimera, whatever, Chimera, Chimera, I, I say it like I did whenever I was a kid, Chimera, Chimera, whatever. Lisa Trevor, wasn't a fan of her in the game, but I dug her in the movie. The Hunters, love the Hunters, don't love what they do to you if you make a wrong move, especially that jerk. Liquors, love the Liquors, always a liquor fan. Tyrants, they're rockin'. Like their designs. Except that one. I don't never I don't know why I like that one. Or that one. I guess the same one, ain't it? Yeah, I don't know. Uh Nemesis. Always dig Nemesis. That one right there. That transformation, freaking punk rock. I don't know. That's just cool. Like his original one is awesome, but that one just like he's all I don't know, man. You would not want to see any of that coming around the corner. But for some reason, that one always like freaked me out the most. But was awesome. Got Birkin here. That one is awesome. Bandersnatch, Nosferatu, Monster Steve, Alexia. Freaking awesome. The Crows, some of my favorite things in the game. Wasp, Roaches, Ants. Moths, plague crawlers. Glad you don't have to come across those that much or jerks. Spiders, love the spiders in the games and in real life. The drain demons, 
Brain suckers. Stinger sucks. Centurion sucks. Gravedigger sucks. Sliding worms. Where do they come from? Oh, okay, yeah. Sucks. Gulp worm sucks. The shark is pretty cool. I like that. I like how they did it in the remake. Uh, the, the original one's just hilarious. I hate this jerk here. Because that is one of my main causes of death in that Resident Evil Zero game. And it shouldn't even be that hard, but it is sometimes. Albinoid alligator. Yawn, love yawn. Adder. Oh, little snakes. Monster plants. Plant 42. The original ivies, which I think are awesome. Tentacle. Mimicry Marcus. Leeches. Queen leech. All those suck. But they're fun to play against. I just don't like uh, that punk. Uh, items. Look at all that treasure, man. I love all the different items, man. It's just fun to see all that and the descriptions and everything. I'm not going to get too close onto those. Weapons. Love to see all the different weapons. Keys. Freaking keys in the Resident Evil games rock. Especially whenever you have like the different designs and all that. Tools. All the different tools. Just great stuff. And recovery items. Ah, concept art. Here we go. Let's look at some of this cool stuff. Love to see the concepts of these characters. Now, am I, who is that? Is it Marcus or, yeah, I guess maybe that might be. Okay, yeah. Rebecca looking all freaking rocking. Billy's cool. Creature models. It's cool to see all that. Who location stuff. Here's Resident Evil. Which it looks like even though they have the remake. In this one as the main thing it looks like uh well, except for that one it looks like a lot of this may be the original game stuff i don't know it looks like concepts for the original 96 game for example two got a lot of cool stuff there sherry Liquor, ivies, lots of G's, nothing but a G thing right there. Look at that alligator, that always made me laugh. Or is that alligator or is that just another, oh it's supposed to be like a dinosaur thing. Okay, I thought it was like a weird uh, version of the sewer gator. Freaking yeah man. So it looks like that dude eventually made it into, or was that, do you fight him in two? It looks like the one from Veronica, I don't know. Resident Evil 1.5, classic. Resident Evil 3. Friggin' Nemesis rocks. One of my favorite pictures right there. Got the poster, of course. Alexia looking a little crackish. Lots of uh, Code Veronica designs here. Wesker Report. Top Secret Designs. Annette G. That would have been cool to see. Power Up Zombies. Powered Up Zombies. Tyrant Inferior. Zombie Horse. I always thought that was a cool design. 
Zombie monkeys could do without those. Zombie wildcats. Sea snake. <laughs> Mysterious enemy. Crickets, man. That's great. And then keywords. Love the map of Raccoon City. I think it's cool they got a giant poster of that, which I do not own. Would love to have. Here you go, some... Umbrella stuff. There's the Ashford. Logos. Lots of lots of text. <laughs> Database stuff. So that's a sort of timeline of everything. Not going to get into that. Files. Love reading the files, even out of like context of playing the game. Just used to sit here and read these pages over and over. Love the files. Because I don't think I've ever won. Well, I guess currently I've. It's gotten easier to get all the files, but back in the day, you never knew what you were missing or anything. There's a glossary. Supplemental glossary. Nothing to see here. Just gonna skip right through all this. And then you got the release calendar for the Japanese versions. And credits. Lots and lots of credits. And uh, there you go. So to keep this from going too much longer, I'll scan the back page here, the back of the cover. And uh, get a good look at the uh, spine, which has been well used over the time. And uh, there you go, Resident Evil Archives, 1960 to 1998. See you on the next video where I do Archives 2.